Hello, Numpty Girl. Are we make a film? Yeah. Oh, I love and this is our allotment. And we sing, and as you can see, that we're doing the same as um, Batman does that. And these are the poles, and that's the screen all the way down there. And um, these are the poles. What are the poles for, Rose? Is that, is that for making the polytunnel? Yeah, the polytunnel. Yeah, we've well, opened a big polytunnel here where all the scaffolding poles are. And uh, what we've got up at this end are the fruit bushes. And we've got um, a lot of red currants in here. Which we didn't plant. Which we did not plant. Oh, they were already here. A lot, some of them need quite severe pruning because the guy never did anything with them for years. Uh, so that's all red currants and black currants, and there's a gooseberry bush at the end. Yeah. Down here are all the um, don't smash them rows. Oh, sorry. Are all the uh, remnants of the um, raspberry canes which I trimmed back last week. So this is the uh, new allotment. And the old allotment we're going to sell to someone else because there was like wireworm. Oh, full there. of wire. The old one was full of wireworm. You couldn't plant anything in there. It just they just ate the lot, and then the rabbits have now found it. So next to the um, fruit bed, we've got a nice bed where Rosie's standing, and Rosie can do a little nice bed dance. Uh, uh, no, not doing a dance. You're not doing a dance, okay? No. So um, we've got a nice bed here. Let me just walk you through the beds. So we've got a big bed. Here, where the guy left us with some uh, some uh, some leeks, so yeah. um, we'll pick some of them and uh, some good juicy leeks. Good juicy leeks, yep. And next to that, we've got some uh, raspberries. I said strawberries, sorry, and I don't know how old they are, but we'll see them what they're like this year, and then uh, maybe transplant a load. Then we've got the polytunnel, which, which is, is going to be good. two and a half meters wide, and about. Uh, one, two, about six metres long. Yeah, six metres. Then next to that, we will be having a nice... Foot! No, it won't, no, that's a footprint. Uh, just around here where you can see the hoop up to there. All the way down to the side here where these leaks are. That's going to be um, a huge uh, netted cage. So the, cause we have a, quite a pigeon problem down here and they sort of scoff a lot. Then we've got a bed here, which um, I've still got to dig yet. A nice big bed. The beds are probably going to be about seven meters by two and a half meters. Then we've got some raised beds that I made here. These are going to be for all the uh, all the salads. And I can put some uh, um, tops on those, to netted tops to keep out the uh, breaded pigeons and uh, butterflies. And, all the nasties. This is a bed I've already done. I've got some uh, onions under the fleece. I've already dug the head and I've put some uh, some boarding around. And last week we started filling in the um, the pathways. No, wait a minute, Rose. You don't take the video camera on me. <laughs> and then uh, so we, we started putting in the uh, the bark chips around the pass. This is about uh, about six inch deep at the moment, so this should suppress the weeds. If not, I'll put some good old nuky, nuky stuff on them. There's a new um, compost uh, bin that I've started. But at the moment, we've just been uh, riddling some of the some of the soil to uh, take out the uh, cooch grass. So we'll stick those in that into the raised beds. And um, this is a thing I made. I've stuck a lot of the weeds underneath there just to hide it out of the way. And then I've got, I managed to get some uh, very well established roots uh, from rhubarb. So they should uh, come up quite well and be ready this year because they're very well established ones. I made a bench last week. Sit on and demonstrate. Okay. There we go. And it's nice and comfy. And that's where we have our cups of tea. And, and it's nice and warm. And it's nice and wet because it's been raining and snowing. Yay! Yay, so that's our little comfy bench. Uh, I've got my shed, which used to be up the other end of the allotment. But I moved it down to this end because it's more practical. And I brought the um, huge uh, water butt from the um, other allotment. 
and I've got to put some some gutters up on there on the other around the other side to fill this up, and it, it fills up surprisingly quickly. Um, where I'm standing, I'll get out of the blooming way. Just around here with all the wood and the uh, pits. This is full of cooch grass, so I'm just going to put some uh, raised flower beds in there. The um, I'm going to take the fencing down and gravel the bottom and make the nice little thing to park uh, the van off the, off the way because at the moment it's over there. So that is the allotment. Uh, I was just going to have a quick look in the shed. That's where I'm sticking all the rubbish for the time being because the guy before just left me a pile of stuff. So that's hidden there at the moment. In the shed we have the most important job on the go. The kettle. And a nice cup of tea on the go, which Rosie's is going to make in a second. Yay! Yay! And that's about it. We're just about. Oh, there's Rosie again. Uh. Following me about because she wants to play with the video camera. So I'll make plenty of videos on the way and uh, show the progress as we go along. So at the moment, I've just got the um, Rosie's hand. <laughs> at the moment, I've just got the. Um, the rhubarb, the raised bed here with the onions on the end, the three um, salad uh, raised beds. I said, then I've got to dig out the bed at the back of that, erect the netted cage, erect the polytunnel, which I'm going to get the um, scaffolding poles in this afternoon. Um, I get paid on Tuesday, so I'll get some um, MDPA pipe and um, do that, and I'll get some plastic for it. Then I've got a uh, bed to dig out at the top, which is at the back of the pipes, next to the um, fruit bushes, which I'm also going to net because apparently the uh, pigeons have that lot as well. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, there goes the tour of the, the uh, new allotment, which is going to be called Rosie's Garden.